Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss about HTTP status codes. What are HTTP status codes? What are the different categories of the status codes? What are the commonly used codes? And finally, I am gonna show you the HTTP status code received in response by sending few requests via Postman. So before we move ahead, in case if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then do it immediately so that you will receive the notifications about the videos that I post on a regular basis. Alternatively, you can also check the videos on my channel. So without wasting any further time, let's move ahead and let's check out the HTTP status code. So HTTP status codes are issued by the server in response to the client's request made to the server. So in any application, we have the client and we have the server. Now server is the part which holds the particular web service or an API and client is the actor who sends that requ the HTTP request to the server. So whenever client sends the HTTP request, server processes that request and it sends back the HTTP response. Now HTTP response contains the HTTP status code, body as well as the headers. Now out of these three, HTTP status code is a three digit number and this three digit number has uh, a meaning associated with it and all the clients who invokes the HTTP request or receives the HTTP response they are very well aware about the meaning of the HTTP status code. So by reading the status code they will understand what is the problem or what is the response to that request then depending on whether it is a success or if it is an error uh, response they can take the next steps uh, for processing. Now let's check out what are the HTTP status code categories and then we will see which are the commonly used HTTP status code. Now one thing to note here is that this HTTP code are universally recognized by all the HTTP application. So it is irrespective of the technology whether you are using MuleSoft, whether you are using TIPCO, Java, .NET in any of the HTTP uh, HTTP APIs, these HTTP codes will always signify the same meaning. So first is the informational codes. I will not talk much on this first category because it is not that frequently used. Now this informational codes always start from number 1. So it could be 101, 102, etc. The next category is the success codes. So uh, this category is used whenever the request is processed successfully by the server and it's, it sends 200, 201, this kind of uh, status code which starts from 2. Next category is the redirectional HTTP codes and the examples could be 301, 302 and this category is used whenever you want to redirect the client to some different URL. Next is the client error code and uh, this category defines the error codes uh, which are caused due to the issue in the input request which is sent by the client. It could be issue with the payload or it could be issue with the authorization header. And the last category is the category starting with number 5. So it could be 500, 501, 502. And this category defines the error codes because of the issue that has happened on the server side while processing that request. So now let's check out the commonly used HTTP status codes in all these categories. So first is about the uh, success category. So most commonly used are the 200 OK, which is very frequently you will see in, in case of gate request 201, which indicate that the resource is successfully created by the server. And this you can uh, see this status code returned in case of post request. Now one more a status code to notice 206 which is the partial success which indicates that the request is processed successfully but it is kind of a partial success not entirely that request is successful next is the uh, redirection http codes so uh, one of them could be moved permanently 301 which indicates that this particular api has been moved to some different uri 
Next are the client errors. Uh, the most commonly used are the uh, bad request which indicates that the request itself has some syntax error or it is missing mandatory parameters. Then uh, the next is the unauthorized, uh, which means that the, the client is uh, not able to successfully authenticate himself. Then 403 is also on the same lines of 401, but the only difference in 403 is that the authentication is successful the resource also exists on server side but the user does not have access for that particular resource in this case 403 is used 404 is a very commonly used in case the resource is not found or even if you enter any invalid url you will get this 404 error and similarly 405 is the method not allowed error uh, the example could be that the particular API supports only get method and if you are trying to use post or delete in that case you might get these errors. Last is the server error category. So 500 is the internal server error which indicates that there was some issue with processing of that request. Uh, one more thing could be the service unavailable which indicates that uh, as that request could not be processed either because the server was not available or it was down due to some reason. Uh, one more thing is about the gateway timeout. For example, if the server is acting as a proxy, then it receives the timeout from the upstream servers. Similarly, 501 uh, indicates that uh, the URI that we are trying to implement or the method that we are trying to implement itself is not implemented on the server side. So, so whenever you will test any HTTP APIs, you will came, you will come across this different HTTP codes. Now, I like to uh, take you to Postman and like to show you how we can see that HTTP status code in a few of the requests. So this is the Postman application and I have few uh, requests opened over here. So let me quickly run this request and show you the HTTP status scores. So you can see that this is one token generation request and in the response I get this 200 OK. When I hover my mouse over 200, it also shows the meaning of this 200 OK response which indicates that the request is successfully executed. Similarly, in case of post request, when I send this request, we, I, we get this 201 uh, HTTP status code, which indicates that the request has been fulfilled and resulted in the new resource, new resource being created. Similar way, if I enter some invalid uh, URI here, then I should get 404 error. So you can see we got this 404 not found error, which indicates that the request resource could not be found. So on the similar lines depending on the type of your request or depending on the type of uh, or the, the way you are executing that service you will get this different http status code in response which will tell you the status of overall execution so that's it in this video if you find this useful then do click on that like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you and happy learning